Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Beers, Bourbon, Whiskey Podcast. Everybody loves BBW. And of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205. Man, I got my man Bo in the building. I got Angry Principal in the building. What's up? And we got my man Grizz in the building. What up, though? What up, though? We got a special guest because last time we had a Soul Deacon. Shout out to Soul Deacon. Soul Deacon. Was our special guest last time, man. Um... Before we get into everything, though, I just want to uh, let y'all know some backstory on this. So, as you see in the camera right now, oh, we got the Tim Smith uh, Southern Reserve whiskey. So, we got the uh, regular whiskey. Then we got the uh, rye whiskey. Uh, I'll give you a little backstory. Shout out to my old man. Like, uh, one day, uh, Moonshiners was on, uh, I think it's a Discovery Channel. And it was a fucking marathon for like 50 hours. <laughs> and I swear he watched every episode. <laughs> so, that's, why I, that's how I found out who Tim Smith was. So, this is a... Uh, the Moonshiner Show is where uh, these both of these whiskeys came from, uh, and it's the uh, Tim Smith version because there's quite a few uh, Moonshiners on the Moonshiner Show, but uh, we decided to try his. Um, and before we get actually started, I do want to say this. I think that I'm going to like the regular whiskey better than the rye, but we're going to see uh, you know how that works. But uh, shit, want to just jump right to it? <laughs> jump right to it? Because a lot of times we talk a little bit, but we're going to jump right to it, so you want to... Try the whiskey room first, and we go listen to the pop. <laughs> there it is. We gonna see how this goes. I'm gonna I'm gonna vote for yes, the regular whiskey. And you know I, I haven't had uh, the best rye whiskey I've had at this point. And not that I've had a lot of rye whiskeys, uh, but was the Detroit City Distillery. Honestly, that was probably one of the best rye whiskeys I had. You know what? I ain't gonna yeah. lie to you. Yeah, I think yeah. I seen Traverse City had one. I didn't try it though, so I haven't tried it yet. Yeah, the Detroit City Distillery ride was pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Traverse City is amazing, though. <laughs> right. That, that, their ride is amazing. I haven't yeah. had their ride. But out of everything that Detroit City does, their ride is the best. Mm. Hmm. I'm trying to get a. It doesn't smell strong at all. What's the, uh, what's the proof on it? What's the proof for y'all? Uh, I think 90, 90 proof. 90 yeah. proof, so it's 45. Mm, I don't know. I smell apples right away. Yeah. Something fruity. Is it apple? Yeah, it's something fruity, definitely. I don't know. I just got to taste it now. Because he gave us a super small shot. <laughs> I was told that I give t- the shots away too big. So, that's why I showed some moderation on this one. Hmm. I don't know. I get apples. I get maybe a little, maybe a little, little oaky taste. Not much. Not very complex. I don't think it is. I need a little more. I can't really judge. But the apple's at the beginning, but it's gone by the time it hit the palate. And I don't know if that's I don't know if that's smokiness or like a wood taste. I can't tell. So I need some. Is that 90 proof? Yeah. So that's 45%. It's about the same as uh about the same as uh Buffalo Trace, right? That's uh, 90, 90 proof, I believe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely yeah, definitely not little, as good little as a uh, little smokiness. <clears throat> I say oak. Oh uh, yeah, I say oak over the smokiness. Yeah. It's decent, but um And that's the only word I'll use for it. Yeah, it's, it's decent. decent. It's yeah, it's not, decent. It's not great. It's not bad. <laughs> and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it's it's not yeah, it's definitely not bad. How much was this? Uh twenty Nine, I believe. I think it's twenty nine. So, so I want to say it's the same price as uh, Buffalo Trace. So you definitely got better options out there at that price point, right? I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I could be wrong, but my personal feeling, like I, I know Avery uh, Principal kind of mentioned this a little earlier. Mm-hmm. I think it's kind of gimmicky, you know, just Tim Smith, just because you know, of who yeah, it is. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, but, but I was like I said before. Like I said before, my right? problem is. <laughs> Every time I see, I, I watch Moonshine. Every time I saw him stirring something over a batch, it just felt like his armpit hairs are falling into it, <laughs> and that's part of the flavor you get here. So, <laughs> the, you know, that that armpit flavor, armpit flavor. <laughs> that's the oaky, like I see. <laughs> that's the oaky, oaky. Oaky. That's the right. oaky. <laughs> Grizz, you the uh, you the you the guest today. So, what what you think about it? Um, it, it is rather light. Yeah, it's rather light. I I got a hint of that 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 apple smoke taste. Um, for it to be ninety, I just was expecting just a little something more. Some more bite or yeah, some more just flavor. More bite, just a little bit more bite. Even, I need, I need more flavor. Well, it, it, <laughs> like it, it just tastes like we were talking about. Um, uh, you know, the homies from earlier. You know, um, I believe it was Jim. <laughs> yeah, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it, it's, it's the when I say it's light, it's not because it's, it's 
not a bad taste. It's just like like almost like water. Like it's yeah. you don't have enough, like you say taste. It's like it's missing some substance. Like yeah, it's, like it's missing it. definitely missing some flavor. I yeah. I done got used to getting good flavor, and it's not really a great flavor. Well, I'm looking at the size of the glass. It's definitely an oily. Uh, the layer, yeah, yeah, because the uh, it's just the laying on, on it's the laying side. on. Yeah. Uh, it's a really oily type of a. Uh, Bourbon, but oh damn, it is a whiskey. I'm sorry, it's not even bourbon. It's just no, whiskey. it's just whiskey. It's whiskey yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it, it's damn, it is. Yeah, it's still like yeah, they still, still there. Oily. So, damn, <laughs> you know. Uh, do you? Do I you, guess it's that that mix of deodorant and dog, and wood. No, he's stupid. Kind of you this oily look. So, he living there. He living there. <laughs> he living there. <laughs> Took a residence. All right, so Tim Smith. That's the uh, that's the uh, the whiskey. Uh, I'd rather take my twenty nine dollars and go get Buffalo Trace. <laughs> certainly, <laughs> I, I certainly agree. Uh, now. Well, I'd rather go get some Evan Williams, white or, or black label, before <laughs> yeah. I spend. Yeah. Oh, certainly, certainly. Before I, I spend thirty bucks on this. Oh yeah, yeah. Obviously, because it's even it's even less expensive. But uh, it's not a bad sip. It's just not what I'm spending. Oh it's, no, on. no. I think yeah. there's better options. You know, at that price point, I'm and willing, better options at the price point below that, like you said. So. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, jump on a limb here and say that this will probably be the first and last time I purchase this. <laughs> But then again, of course, we're uh, these are our, our taste buds. Whatever you feel like, you uh, you know, you, you mm-hmm. might you might like it. But I, I I do I do agree with what Grizz said. I think this is a close example. This is kind of like a apple flavor, uh, not not like like real candy apple flavor, but no. kind of a, a appley fruit flavor Jim Bean. Like it's it don't it don't give me much more than Jim Bean. I think that was a great comparison. Cause I just I was I don't know. I, I guess because it's on TV, I was just waiting for it to be like something else. Because like you know when you drink the Buffalo Trace, when you drink that Evan Williams, that uh, that White Label, it's just like like you smell it and then you taste it and then you like experience it. Like you you taste this, but then like it ain't no experience to it. That's just that's it. Now I did bring out when I had a with, cigar, after a puff of cigar. Mm-hmm. It did bring out some smokiness in it. But, yeah. Uh, and that, but that was, goes back to that wood taste that you yeah. said you were you were mm-hmm. uh, tasting earlier. But, yeah. Um. Yeah, but it does a little bit for your cigar, but not much. Not enough. Sorry, so we uh we we looking at this uh kind of like a uh, meh. Yeah. <laughs> if you mixing it, so it's a great make, mixer. If you making it old fashioned, might be a great way to go. If you mixing it or some kind of cocktail, <laughs> might it, it's Maybe. a great way to but go. But you but you know what when, when I hear when I hear somebody say uh it's a great mixer, it makes me feel like it's trash. <laughs> like if you got a no. No, not trash. No, just not trash. Not trash. It gets you there as far as your your proof. Yeah, you'll yeah. get your buzz. Yep. But you don't have to. You don't have to worry about the taste because it's mixed in with something else. Yeah, and, and that's the thing. That's why it made me feel like it's trash. Because if if I got to mix something with it to make it taste good, then it's like it's trash. Oh, not not trash. Sometimes, sometimes I don't want to just drink whiskey or bourbon. Sometimes I might want to have an old fashioned or. Arnold Palmer and those, mm-hmm. but whatever it is, right? Yeah. Here's the thing. Blanton's, Buffalo Trace, I like it by itself. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. I like it, the taste of that by itself. I don't want right. to add anything to it. Exactly. And that's what I that's what I so, feel like it has to be. But but when I do when I have a drink, like mm-hmm. a drink drink, I'm gonna use something like yeah, I like I like obviously, mm-hmm. but not something I just want to enjoy by itself. You know yeah. what I mean? So like Four Roses Yellow Label is a perfect example. I oh, like Four Roses Yellow Label, yeah. but that's par- that's what I use primarily when I want to have a mixed drink. You know what I mean? Really? It's still good bourbon. Now see, that's one of those. But ones, I don't typically drink it by itself. But that's know? one. That, that's one that I could though. That's definitely one I, that I yeah, could. Yeah, I could. Yeah, I, but I, I could. don't typically just. But this, I, mean, I, I can't even. Roses, I can't see it. Know? Like I'm probably like in real life. This is what I'm gonna do with this. I'm gonna put ice with it, and I'm gonna drink it extra fast and get drunk. <laughs> That's and, and that's what I was going to say. Nothing wrong with that. That's what I'm going to do with that. But I would just make that cold, right? I would just make just it cold, yeah. it in, and, and then just drink it because it's already so light. I don't want to put ice in it. I don't want to put no ice in that. Yeah. I don't want to put it. It's going to taste like that. diet liquor. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but look, and I'm going to tell you one more thing because I, I, I actually like. I actually poured a little more. <laughs> and just by what has been like four minutes, just letting it breathe for four minutes, it's actually even lighter. It's like after it, like from I don't know if that was possible, but it's actually even lighter now. Like, like the alcohol just floated away. <laughs> I swear, dog. Nah. Now so, I think this would be good, like if you was introducing like somebody young to whiskey, right? If you want or somebody who start, hadn't really drank whiskey, who, who, who's not really a whiskey drinker. I yeah. think it would be good for introduction. 
not for something that I want you to, you know, put a hard mark on. Like, I'm mm-hmm. introducing you to something that's not going to be harsh. Yeah. You probably couldn't handle a blast. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right? Going into your, into your virgin system. Yeah. But this might be good for somebody you want to introduce them to, like, this is, like, getting you introduced to whiskey. Got you. Right, okay. I don't know. I don't think it's a gateway. Because our, 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 gate, gateway, our yeah. gateway was always Buffalo Trace. And, well, from now, mine is uh, Evan Williams. So, Evan Williams and... And uh, Buffalo Trace has so been Jack Daniels. Jack Daniels. Yeah. That's rough. See what I'm saying? <laughs> That's rough. I'm about to say this right here. So you know what? Real quick, this is off the subject, but since you are a guest, gentleman's Jack, bro. <laughs> what do you think about that? I like. Have it. you had it? Yeah. I mean, it's always some gentleman Jack at the house. <sighs> See, I love that shit. I love gentleman. They like, hate that shit. Really, bro? They hate that shit. I have it at the house because Q. Because I brought it. Drinks it. <laughs> He bought it. It's and still it's sitting there. Like, bro, it's still there. there. Whenever like, he decides to come. I like that shit. I, I, I like that shit. I think Gentleman Jack is like, it's like five steps up the steps from just regular Jack. Oh, yeah. It's definitely it's better than. It's, it's yeah, five it's steps better. up the steps. Man, if you. But if you're already in the basement. Dog. And you go up five steps. God. You still wow. ain't made to the first floor with that. The with basement. The Jack. <laughs> You're going in the right direction. I'm, no, if you already in the crawl space. <laughs> there you go. If you already in the crawl space. The crawl space. That's hey. static, bro. You, 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 can build, you can build a thousand bridges and do that one thing one time, and you're not a bridge builder. I'm just saying. You know? All right, so let's uh, let's move along. So right now, I, I will say that uh, just starting off, again, I think the uh, the whiskey, uh, it has a, a, a nice little apple flavor. The apple flavor is cool. Because, you know, I, again, as everybody always watch this show, know I have a softer palate. So anything with a little sweetness, whether that be fruit or like the caramel Soft or cocoa palate. kind of thing, I like that shit. So I did like the, the, the initial nose of it. The taste or the palate, rather, it was like, I don't know, it just seemed like it's a lot left to be desired. Like, almost like it's incomplete. It's all, like it almost turned into like right now, like all bullshit aside. I let this shit sit for a minute and it tastes like iced tea. Like, it really just legit tastes like iced tea. I think the part that I don't like is there's no hug at the end. You don't it's get that, that hug it's coming nothing. down your throat. You don't feel the burn. You don't feel anything. It's just there. It's light. And that's why I say iced tea. Because <laughs> that shit went yeah. down like some Lipton's. <laughs> All right. That's so why I said it was light right off the bat. <laughs> Off rip. It is, it's though. Light. All right. So, let's get, go ahead and get to the ride. Should I let you go ahead and pop the cork on it? That arm here. Arm to here. Hold up. Lipton's. Lipton. Was it Lipton's and uh, uh, J-Mo? Is that what we had? Oh, no. Uh, damn. Pure something. Leaf. Pure Leaf, Pure yes. Leaf. Uh, green Tea mm-hmm. and the Jameson. Ooh. Fire. Fire. I'm going to give you one more, though, too. If you just, you know, that's me, though. Sweet Tea, though. Sweet Tea with the Jameson. Fire. Fire. All right. All right, one more. <laughs> <laughs> and I know y'all not going to like this. But the... Uh, the Honey Jack. Oh. Wait a minute, though. No, no, stop. Quick stop. story. Quick no, story. No, Quick, no. story. Like- Quick story. Quick story. Quick story. I was in Colorado and shit, right? I had a lot of alone time. We were just talking about this community thing, right? So a lot of alone time. I went to went to the store, got a fifth of a, uh, 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 what did I just say? The Jack. The, the, the Honey Jack. Jack. Went to the 7-Eleven. You know how we get down. Got a, uh, a big goat full of ice. Poured that. Damn near the whole fucking fifth in the big goat. And just sipped on that shit for like two hours. It was great. It was great. Your honey sugar jack. was this high too. Man. Probably so. Ooh. I mean, yeah. All right, anyway. Go ahead. Honey got that sugar. <laughs> he got that sugar. All right, pause for the court. Oh, okay. Sounded a little more in pepper. depth. Oh, yeah. let, me go, let me go ahead and finish my ice cream. I'm pretty particular about my ride, so. I don't really have a, I don't have a great opinion on rides, so we get to see. I'm hoping a little bit more, a little bit more. I got a taste. All right, we good, we good. We good. Woo. <laughs> I don't like, like that look on your face. Shit, I don't smell that. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even trying to be funny. I don't nah, smell that shit. That smells sweet. Oh, I smell it now. Okay. It's like a florally, floral, floral yeah. sweet, though. Yeah, get some floral notes. All right, so completely different. So it's totally it's not gonna taste like that. So no. let me see. It's like wow. floral. It's like fucking Blood flowers. Cream. Ooh, cream, like caramel. Like, what is it like butterscotch? Yeah. Cream for sure. Almost like me. Yeah, maybe a butterscotch. I feel like almost. I'm about to eat a uh, oatmeal cookie. 
This is better. Way it's better. Not, it's way better. Man, this this really this is like way oatmeal. better. They said oatmeal. Really? Dude. Yeah. Damn, not, sugar that, not that you said it. I can mess with the rum. I didn't smell it at first. This is way better. This is a thousand percent better. I'm super. I can mess with the rum. I'm super salty though, because I really thought that the regular whiskey was gonna be better. This is actually good. <laughs> I like this now, and it, and, I, it, and it does have a it does have a hug at the end. So this is yeah. It's got to finish now for my uh, mixed drinks like my old fashioned. I like rye mm-hmm. better than I like just regular whiskey or, yeah. or even bourbon. Okay, mm-hmm. so I would definitely use this in my old fashioned. Yeah. I like this a lot better. Without a doubt. This is pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Grizz, said, what'd you like say, a, man? Smelling a this oatmeal is, cookie. Like I, like I said, man, this is way better than it way, is. way better. Like, I could smell it was sweet right off the bat. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, you, you, it, it hits you. It smelled different. Um, That one is not light. Yeah, it's not light. Yeah, it's, it's not, not light. light. Um, but it's not, it's not overpowering yeah, either. It does, it's not, um, it doesn't have a, any sort of aggression to it like that. Where is 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 you know harsh or anything like that? Right. But, but he did a good job with his rye. Yeah. Good job with his rye. I think the rye the, the rye is better. I'm, and I'm super surprised. And I, I guess I'm saying that because I don't I don't have a lot of experience with rye. So honestly, I just didn't think I was gonna like it as much. Um, still, um, from my experience thus far, uh, which hasn't been a lot, the Traverse City uh, rye is still. I mean, not Traverse City, but the uh, Detroit, Detroit City. City Distillery. Rye is still probably number one on my list as far as rye go, but uh, I like this though. It's got just a enough sweetness to it, the you know, to make it delightful for me. And it's a good compliment <laughs> with the cigar. It really is. Yeah, it really is. I see that lighter. I'm smoking a Ramon Alonez. Yeah. In case y'all wondering, ain't no always got the uh, always got the Romeo and Juliet. Always, I get stuck on shit. And I'm Rocky <laughs> Patel, 15 year anniversary. Damn, baller. It's like that. <laughs> All right. All right, Tim Smith with the rye. Tim Smith. You made you made, you came back. I tell you what, man. The whiskey was not doing it. Same and uh and totally redeem same, yourself. Same price too though. So still twenty nine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So, I right, still so think the is, price is a little high. I think the price is high. Well the price is probably high because of Moonshiners, probably because of the that. show. It's a, probably it's I'm a, guessing. Quote unquote celebrity type. Yeah, uh, exactly. Um uh, uh rye, but I don't, I don't know if I would want to spend twenty nine on it. In fact, if, if I saw it in the store for twenty nine, I'd probably turn away. I yeah, I am only, never gonna buy either for one. Thirty of these. I'm yeah. never gonna buy either one. I'm, I'm not. But I mean, the the ride is pretty good. It's okay. If it's like twenty bucks, I may do it. Yeah, especially the ride, not the whiskey. Yeah, the ride all, definitely. And only because of what you got to you know uh, the compare it to. There, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you got twenty nine. I'm, I'm off rip. I'm getting some Buffalo Trace or the Evan Wick, I'm, bro. I want to first of all thank y'all for last show <laughs> because I was not hip to Evan Williams. I am stuck on that junk now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Buffalo Trace, Knob Creek, Woodford, uh, Elijah Craig. Be- I, dog, I cannot get hip. Maybe maybe y'all changed my mind today, but I cannot get hip to Woodford, uh, Woodford Reserve. Dog. Like, yeah, you'll get there. It's rough for me though. Like, it's just what it's rough for me. There? You got man up. <laughs> I say what well, damn on that though. <laughs> I say what well, damn. Put your big man drawers on and shit. Yeah. Hey, pull yourself up by your bootstraps. <laughs> no hey, matter hey, if they hey, made hey, out of spaghetti. Pick your beard out, bro. Pick no. your beard out. <laughs> That's the new shit, though, right? Pick your beard out. That's the new shit. Oh, oh, speaking of beards, <laughs> that nice black beard right there, baby. Hey, look though, so. We've been having this conversation too, though, like uh, amongst uh, all of us, really, and shit, about uh, grays and our beard and shit. I mean, what y'all think about that shit? I I don't have no grays and shit, so I ain't had to I ain't had to think about that shit. Yeah, you got some? Damn, you got some too? Yeah, I know you got some. I, I'm definitely gray, so yeah. I, and I embrace it. No, I'm white. I don't yeah. even have gray. You said it ain't even gray. Mine went white. <laughs> yeah, you know. well, it look gray because like it's some like speckles of black in there. Right? Yeah, maybe. Also, oh, that's what make it look gray. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. See, so is it I, is it I, a I thing though? Because because uh, Trump said he just he ain't fucking with that gray period. I tried it and like, first of all, I don't think it make 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 my my beard looks as good as I think it is. Yeah. Or maybe my maybe I just don't have a good looking. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> 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 whatever y'all think at home, right? The other thing though, man, like I look crazy as fuck with a gray beard. Like I, I look no, like I mean, crazy. like crazy as fuck, like me in this hair. So uh, news alert. <laughs> You already look me, nigga. <laughs> this nigga said I look more approachable now, though, right? I look a little more approachable. I 
think it's just doing I mean, with the, with the gray, right? Yeah, yeah, that's that's, that's, that's got to be exactly it. why. Yeah, that's so like why I did it. Is this a just for men conversation? <laughs> Basically, yeah. <laughs> that midnight I'm blood. Sorry, I'm, 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 <laughs> hey, I'm not afraid or ashamed to tell anybody. I put, I'll tell you the minute I put black in my shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah for well, sure. Mike Lowry. <laughs> right, Mike Lowry. Yeah. <laughs> Mike Lowry. All right, on that note, man, we can go ahead and finish this out. Hey, drop it. Embrace your gray, man. Right. I got a couple of strings of gray, man. You know, I look I look forward to um, you know, it you know, becoming gray or white or whatever because I mean that's a sign that we still alive. We know so many people who don't who not afforded opportunity, so I don't take it for granted, man, you know. Facts. No no knock on anybody um who don't want to rock with the grays, but you know, mm. I'm looking forward to it. Cause I ain't yeah. got no hair on my head neither though, so you know. All right. I, I, I can have something, man. This is what it is. <laughs> Come on now. I started going bald when I was seventeen. Bro, okay. Just, but I gotta have something. F- you know, F- FYI, I, angry Prince was the only motherfucker out here with a hairline. <laughs> <laughs> only one. <laughs> and, and you see, you hear how I say a motherfucker with aggression because I hate that shit. Niggas still got hairlines, dog. All right, so look, we go. <laughs> We gonna wrap this episode up, dog. What about now? Like, it'd be different. Like, if I showed up next week with some locks or something like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, you showed some like, locks. We gonna have to have a conversation. Like, so you have, yeah, you have, he having to be like, like crisis. crisis. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna pull up with we'll locks in a motherfucking Corvette. Like, what you have? This nigga having a whole issue, dog. <laughs> All right, dog. On that note, man, we're going to go around one last time, man. We're going to check it out and see what everybody think. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start it off, dog. Um, and I'm going to just say, uh, surprisingly, uh, the whiskey is not as good as the uh, as the rye. And to be completely honest with you, the whiskey, if it was, um, and I'm going to jump on the ledge and say this, and a lot of people might not agree, but if it's going to be sitting here and it's next to the Jim Bean, I'm probably going to get the Jim Bean, dog. And Jim Bean, not even, not even good. But I'm probably gonna get that before this, and because it's ten dollars less, and you know what I'm saying it's ten dollars less, and like it's still it's I'm probably staying, I'm staying sober that day. <laughs> he said it's he, a dry day. He go smoke his cigar and shit. Yep, smoke cigar. But when it comes to the rye, though, if I had to uh, decide between the two, then I'm definitely yeah, going with the rye. Right. Um, it's a lot more flavor uh, in the rye, and it's a little bit uh, a little bit more of a bite at the end. And uh, and as uh, Angry Principal and everybody, I think agreed, it kind of goes well. With a cigar, so I say between the two, I'm definitely picking the rye. But what you say? I ain't got too much more to add to that. Yeah, mm-hmm. but between the two, I definitely pick the rye here. Um, it does pretty, it does go well with a cigar. Actually, mm-hmm. it sits pretty well with it. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not really a huge fan of it, but uh, like you said, if it was that or Jim Bean, I would I would buy the rye instead of Jim <laughs> Bean. <laughs> Well, I mean, yeah, but I mean, if it was just a regular whiskey, just a regular you know, whiskey, you say you just gonna be sober. I'm just gonna be sober that day. I'm sorry. Right now, son, I ain't yeah. drinking. Yeah, whatever. I'm gonna yeah. get the Hennessy. Right. <laughs> no, sober. Martell. Sober. I was always a Mart- I did drink Hennessy, but uh, I was more more of a Martell person than than Hennessy. Ah, uh, bro, if you was more Martell, then you always been ready for bourbon. Because <laughs> Martell is rough, nigga. <laughs> rough. I mean, his name is Martel. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's a nigga across the street that you know right now. Martel. Like Martel. I don't know. He with Martel and him. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. Grizz, what you say, bro? Um, man, I definitely uh, agree with your sentiment. I would definitely take the rye over the over the whiskey, man. The whiskey was just like it was just light, man. It left a lot to the imagination. Yeah, for mm-hmm. sure. It's like, um, I guess to really sum it up in this way, I think you gentlemen can relate, and some of the listeners is. Um, it's like getting with somebody that you've been looking forward to, like, hitting. You know what I'm saying? You've been looking forward to smash. And, and, and you get let down. And then you finally get to it, and you're like, damn, that's it? That's it. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly what the whiskey was but like. But on a slow night, you might be like, hey, what you I, I mean, you, I mean, I mean <laughs> or, you or, finally get it. Right? You're going to still hit it, but it's like you're still drinking, but you're just like, I'm or, not coming back. on a slow night, you might just stay dry, nigga. <laughs> Stay sober, stay dry. Yeah, like, the poor hub night. Glass of water. With a glass of water. <laughs> wow. The rye had, had way more going on for had more going for itself. So I think no the rye. Um, if I wanted to introduce somebody to Tim Smith, I probably would introduce him to the rye That's yeah. so. over the whiskey. Okay. Yeah, because low key, if you if you give them that first, they're gonna be turned off. I ain't gonna lie. Because if I had this and never had the rye, I would have never tried the rye no, at all. Because I'd have been like, oh, that's what that is. I'm straight. No, I'm straight. You yeah, got a rye yeah. version of it. I'm straight. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Hold on. Exactly. Hey, real quick. Shout out to Pornhub and OnlyFans, keeping a lot of people un- uh, employed during the pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> 
Just saying. Hey. Doing your social responsibility. Appreciate y'all. Hey, I'm laughing, but facts, though. Hey. Kudos. <laughs> Poor uh, the OnlyFans paying the bills right now. paying the bills, bro. Some of y'all not going back to work because hey. OnlyFans, nope. dog. Not even resume. worried about no job. There's no resume. <laughs> hey, just getting me a strong internet connection. <laughs> Angry principal, is that what you say, bro? Wow. I'm definitely going with the ride. <laughs> that whiskey is my fear about his armpit hair falling in the batch. That's the whiskey. That's the whiskey. That's the the ride nasty. seems like everybody was, you know, clean yeah. during mm-hmm. the making of the ride. This was, so, this was a good day. Yeah, it was a good day for the ride. The whiskey, I, I think his he just shaved right into the hair, into the batch, and, and that was it. So it, it was real bad to me. All right, for sure. So I think we all in agreement that the whiskey uh, out of the two is definitely the worst. Um, and when I say worst, I'm I actually... one of the first times ever. Was it all in agreement? Don't you ain't lying. This is this, this like is a all record. Uh, agreement. This is a record that show. That never happens. That that just goes to show you how bad this shit. Is. <laughs> 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 hey, but you know what? No diss to Tim Smith, man. Look, my old man still gonna definitely enjoy moonshiners. And like the other moonshiners, is probably good. Like you know, they make all kind of other shit. Uh, what's the other shit? Uh, vodka and rum and oh, all yeah. kind of shit. You know, they make all kind of stuff. Yeah. But with the whiskey though, it's a straight no go. Uh, the rye definitely we'll give it another shot. But at the end of the day. It's not gonna. It's not gonna make like make the top five and nothing like that. Like if I got some other stuff in front of it, I'm still gonna take that. But other two, definitely uh, the rise the way to go, dog. Yep. Um, interesting conversation today. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank everybody for checking us out today. Don't forget, man, if you got any comments, make sure that you do leave them below in the YouTube comments. Also, too, uh, if you see that Patreon link down there, go ahead and support our uh, podcast by <clears throat> becoming a patron to uh, E Block Radio. You see the, uh, the link down at the bottom. And uh, anything that you would like to see on the show that you haven't seen thus far, make sure you leave those comments as well. We may do it on the next show. But uh, to the next time, man, we're going to get up out of here. I want to uh, salute everybody who checked us out. Happy New Year to everybody because this will be uh, the first show of the new year. So uh, happy new year to everybody who made it. Um, so, yeah, let's get out of here, dog. <laughs> to the next time, man. You already know. Everybody loves BBW, man. Beers, bourbon, and whiskey. I got my man Bo in the building. I say. Got my man Grizz in the building. What up? Angry principal. Drink what you like, how you like. And of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. Peace out, y'all.